What's up, y'all? This is uh, Moscow and Leningrad train station. I'm gonna show you Sapsan, me going to Sapsan. Showing you this place, guys. Check it out. So, if you're going on Sapsan to Leningrad, it's this station, right? If you're going to St. Petersburg, by Lastichka or some other slower versions than Samsung. Notice, this is not the entryway. You have to go outside. Next to the station outside is the ones, Lastichkas and other platforms. Notice, I did this mistake, but I was in time though. So that entrance is, if you're looking at the entrance of the station, it's to the right of the building right next to it it's uh, alongside the wall all right we're in the second floor where i was waiting for uh, in a waiting room conveniently there is some restaurants on the second floor what else sala Zidane also a uh, sitting area five city area for military se separately can you imagine that uh, yeah when you're entering here, this text reads you, Welcome to Dabro Pajalovic Moscow. Welcome to Moscow. Now we got like, uh, we got 40 minutes. 40 minutes until our train leaves. If you want to buy some stuff food beforehand, you should. Because uh, everything is a bit more pricey. Even the from a from a machine, I bought a a drink, energy drink, because I felt like it. It cost 250, which is like two, three times more. All right, our track is 7:76, 7:30. Uh, 1730 you can also when you arrive to st. Petersburg uh, Moscow you can go through there straight outside now yeah, we're gonna need uh, to some sign you're gonna need your ticket actually you don't need your ticket you just need your uh, your ID passport in other words So it's, uh, I got it, it's number, number three. Beautiful. So this is the high speed train. I've done a video before it. This might be another one. In the traditions, in Russian traditions, you got a sort of, well, people who work in uniform. Here is a, oh, is this a nine? Oh, we're going a long way. So guys, let me know in the comments. Have you ride, have you ridden uh, the Sapsan train before? It's excellent. I think it's German made though. And uh, it goes really fast. It goes like 200 or something. How many? You got, you got like nine wagons. Oh, cars. You, I think they're called cars. And uh, it has a restaurant car. <coughs> Same thing, everything is very expensive. My most expensive beer I had in Russia, probably ever, was here on Sapsan. It was like, I think it was like six, seven bucks. That's seven times the price. <clears throat> so far, all the uniformed are uh, workers and service, uh, service, um, what you call it, staff. We're men. 
this second part is windmill. Usually they're both like 50-50 maybe. So he's having a beer outside. So they're gonna check your... Oh, that's mine. Окончено, поезд отправляется. Следующая остановка – Балагуэ. Something to drink, coffee, 
coffee, tea, water, lemonade, and uh, snacks, whatever you want. Great service. And I don't actually feel like uh, drinking any more anything. I have, uh, I have water with me. I think that's fine. Plus, we're gonna check out the uh, the extra car, the restaurant car. This is also the, the fastest way to travel to Tveri, city of Tveri. But if you wanna see Tveri adventures, check out my videos from Tveri. And of course, you can easily check them out on my on my Google Maps. It's easy to do that and click on the icon, and you'll see all the videos with the links to my video. It's funny how the cities, how cities in Russia have different statuses, like uh, labor proudness, city of uh, labor proudness. Then there's another hero cities. That's that's interesting to hear, and it's beautiful that we can hear the translation because that's a rarity. But guys, check it out. So I'm gonna show you this, uh, give you a little tour about this. Subsan tour, but in general, I hope this doesn't bother you a lot. But uh, if you travel between St. Petersburg and, and Moscow, the best way to travel is Subsan, the fastest way to travel, and convenient. Maybe by airplane, the airplane costs you like uh, 20 bucks, 30 bucks at the best, which is good. But then, you, of course, you have to travel between the airports, and so. I choose Sapsan whatever I can because it's so convenient. It's four hours, actually less than four hours in this in this train. A little bit less or exactly four hours. It's convenient. It's basically like a, not first class, but like an airplane level service because it's Russia. In Russia, you have these traditions that uh, they are not conductors. They are helping you out and uh, they are really uh, professional and giving you the um, the best service that they can give you. I'm so tired, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, we're good. So I'm, I've been filming every day for 12 hours or, or something like that. So the best way to actually uh, reserve this uh, train is by uh, tutu.ru and buy in advance. Buy in advance because the tickets are going to rise. The price. Basically, these trains are always sold out. And if you order it, let's say two weeks, three weeks in it beforehand, you're gonna get it the best price. The best price for Sapsan is around 35 uh, bucks, 40. That's the best price. Then it goes to 60, 100, and it can cost hundreds the last tickets because and the, there's se separately VIP section, which is I'm not allowed. So in order to buy on this tutu.ru from abroad, you need to have a Russian bank card bank card in order to order uh, buy the ticket online on tutu tutu dot ru if you can't unfortunately you will have to travel first to russia and then buy it here you can buy it on uh, on the uh, railway stations physically and make sure you go for the correct uh, cashier because for example in st petersburg there's two sections. There's the local trains and then there's the long distance trains. So this is the long distance train. So you have to go through a security check. And if you're buying it very late, you're gonna get the bigger price, correct? Right. This is 60 or 100 euros. Think about the airplanes because the airplanes are really very convenient. The train leaves from St. Petersburg from uh, Moskovsky railway station, arrives to Leningradsky and vice versa. And uh, you can have some beautiful scenery while you're traveling. You're gonna travel through Tveri, and this is another city that I cannot pronounce right now. So this train has 10 uh, cars in it. You get uh, beautiful service. It is, it's just a joy to travel with Sapsan. And not only because the wet, everything works on the train, for example, I know these similar trains are in the West, but the difference is stuff is broken, 
trains are late. In Russia, trains are never late. Service is always uh, subsan. It's extraordinary. And I cannot say good things enough about it. Hey, check it out. What's the name of it? Wow. Soviet train over here. Man, what's the name of the place? Maybe we can go out? Let's go out quickly. Ah, no, 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 they will open. You don't have to open your own doors. The people who work here does that. A place for personnel. If you can get this for 50 cents basically in a store. See how much a couple of bucks. And coffee is like three bucks. And chips, not Pringles. It's Mother's Hunter's Gourmet. Four bucks for this. But that's because this is like an upscale. Uh, upscale. Uh, meat, meat, chips for two bucks. Putin's inauguration. It says uh, to take care of Russia and serve Russia. That was also in the Western news. Basically, it continues like that. The most interesting thing I think for Westerners is the uh, the people who work in their uh, uniforms. Uh, the service level is really great. They give you f right away as you come along. Free, uh, free of charge, uh, free of charge. Uh, earphones, earplugs, uh, not iPhones, not iPhone ones. Just the round end uh, cables and uh, wires, and then there's of course the uh, and some napkins uh, to wash your hands, which I did not do, by the way. But then they offer you coffee. They offer you all sorts of services, maybe newsletters, and. Uh, 
blankets or whatever. We are traveling super fast. The train goes, it said in the beginning, 230 kilometers per hour, uh, top speed. And uh, that's why it's only four hours between. By bus, if you travel the same route, it's like nine hours. If you take the cheapest and overnight uh, train, it's also like eight, nine, or even over 10 hours. Second best option is actually a lastichka. You can take a fast speed train, which is not as fast as Sapsan. Fast speed train lastichka for the ticket, the cheapest ticket, it's actually cheaper than Sapsan. It, it's like 15 bucks or 20 bucks or 25 bucks. Yeah, it can go also up when the tickets are sold out. And yes, the tickets are always sold out to uh, the fast ones, Lastishka and Sapsan are always sold out the closer you get to the date or the tickets are so expensive because of the last tickets you won't be able to spend, you don't want to spend it on that next stop, St. Petersburg home you can order some food here as well food is available I wonder if they have our menus on the table, but uh, yeah, they do, but uh, these places are all uh, full, so I'm not able to, to see the menu. A few moments later We're about to leave, finally home, St. Petersburg Whoa, dangerous step Right. Oh, so this is how it feels to be homesick to St. Petersburg internally inside Russia. So guys, this was my Sapsan trip and I'm so happy to be here. I am happy to be Gorod Giroy, Hero City, St. Petersburg. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you find this interesting, please subscribe to the channel and uh, push like. This was my Sapsan video, guys. Push like, make sure to uh, become a member and of course, push all the notification bells on. I'm heading back into St. Petersburg, my beloved city. Bye bye, y'all.